As Andrew was saying, Descript is a platform for editing audio and video as simply as editing text. And the way I want you to think about this is think of it as a Google Doc. And that's a metaphor I use a lot when explaining to people. And in a modern era tool, you would expect that you can drag any material in. You can invite collaborators to join you with one click. You can collaborate and edit the content and contribute new material in real time. And then it's super easy to export it out. All of your material should be backed up in the cloud so you don't have to worry about external hard drives. And it's safe and secure. And you're really, really fast. So uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you today. I'm going to demonstrate Descript and some of the new video features that we have from the standpoint of video creators. Um, what's great is most of my background is actually on the audio and music side. So I'm new to video. So it's perfect for a tool for me because I can use my existing paradigms and they just work great. Let me show you Descript in a nutshell. The screen you're looking at is Descript. It is a desktop app for Mac and PC but it's based on a lot of web technologies. So everything is fast, responsive, and it syncs to the cloud. Um, I'm gonna take a video sitting on my desktop. Um, this was a short video interview that I did over Zoom with a collaborator. I'm just dragging in one minute file just so you can get the gist of what's going on. In this first example, um, you see something pop up in the lower left corner. Uh, it says transcribe one file. I'm gonna tell it transcribe one file. It's all gonna happen automatically. I'm gonna say detect speakers. Now, there's two of us in this interview. If you don't know that, just leave it blank. But if you know how many people are you're doing an interview or a panel or something like that with, um, enter in that number and we're gonna prompt you to label the speakers. Because everything revolves around the transcript. Part of our belief is that you should be able to edit content by editing the text. And you know we're all storytellers, the script really is central. And you can see the script actually already popped up for this very short Zoom interview that we did. And also this little box appears at the bottom that says identify speakers. So I'm gonna click on identify speakers. Descript's gonna pop up our speaker detective. It's gonna play you snippets of people that are heard and you give them a name. Well, that's me and that's Brandon. So just like that, we've named the speakers and we can see our transcript appear in real time. So this is generated from the video and you can click around in here. And part of the magic is I can just click to the part that shows in the transcript, hit the tab key to start playing. And anything you select in Descript automatically selects the audio and the video that associates with the text. This is something that Andrew and the team have been working on for several years. It might seem simple, but uh, really to get these edits right is great. So let's say I wanna cut down this little interview. Um, first off, I can see, you see there's all this dead air. When I just had the video file, that's it. That's all you get. Maybe you have some thumbnails, but with the transcript, I can actually see here, you can see that there's five seconds of silence here. There's a bunch of silence at the end. I can see a bunch of ums and ahs going on. So what I can actually do is go up to the top here and start cutting this down. So. We'll just scroll up to the top, wait for my mouse to collaborate. There we go. So to trim this down, I'm actually gonna click on shorten word gaps. So we understand what word gaps are because we understand the text. So I'm gonna say anything longer than a second. I want you to cut that down to a 10th of a second. That's gonna put in jump cuts for our video right there. Um, we were just kind of making small talk at the beginning. I really started my interview when I said, hey, Brandon, so I'm gonna select this all. I'm gonna hit the delete key. And then now my video starts. So you can see our conversation goes on. Um, that is pointless for me to say awesome twice. So I'm gonna just select that, hit delete. You know, there's a really long lag there. I wanna trim that down. Just click on the words at the very bottom. I'll make the waveform a little bigger. Descript again, you can just click on the words. We're shortening the audio and the video so that it's applying a little trim. And then when we get to the end, that last awesome was me. No point in having that there. Hit delete. And there we go. Now you can see I've taken this one minute video. I can see all the edits that I need to make. If I wanted to, I could remove all of the ums and ahs. So Brandon has all these 
ums and ahs, I can right click on that, say remove filler word, uh, filler words. You can choose whether you wanna delete the audio without affecting the video. It's a choice that's up to you. So whether you wanna put in little jump cuts or just mute the audio when you hear a filler word and filler words, these are the things like, you know, kinda like, um, uh, so kind of something sort of repeated filler words. Uh, I have a lot of interviews that I do for this podcast that I create and video podcast I create. Uh, these things are all over the place. So with Descript, we kind of automatically can remove those and now your interviews, all those things getting uh, shortened down and automatically removed. So removing word gaps, and removing uh, filler words, something you can do very quickly with Descript. All right, so that's me showing you a very quick way of cutting down uh, a video that has one or multiple speakers. Another example that will resonate with a lot of people on here. Um, I was asked, I just, I was asked to do something for a, uh, another conference last week uh, called Pods Up, Level Up. They asked me to describe Descript in 90 seconds. So uh, I, I think I used QuickTime to record this, just turned on the camera and I just riffed on a quick intro for my conference presentation. Again, you have this long thing, especially if you're going off script, isn't it so much easier that instead of taking this, you know, 90 second file or 90 minute file and trying to scrub through and grab the best parts, in this case, I can actually see and visualize all of my mistakes, including my long silences at the beginning. So I can actually go through, I can see the best takes, and I can comp those together. So in this case, I can just go select here. I can either hit delete or ignore. Ignore just puts a strike through so that you can't see it. And then here we have my best take. I can go in, easily correct the transcript, remove some sentences that might be unnecessary here. Then this is actually Descript. Here we go. And just like that, I kind of cut it, cut video down very, very quickly. Now, when I have this video, what else can you do with it? So with this, I've just made some very simple tweaks. I've just made a couple of edits, some transcript correction, um, maybe added in some music. So I can just drag in, let's say an MP3 file to be my intro music. Just drag that in from off screen. What's cool is you can drag it in and you actually can visualize where in the script it appears. So if I want my intro music to start on this third sentence, just drag it here. I want it to end at the end, right click, split clip, add a little fade at the very end, fade it in. So let's say you've got that in a good place. What can you do with that? Well, the first thing I probably should have done for this demo and meant to do, but totally, totally forgot is to click on the share button. So when you click on the share button, I can actually invite people to collaborate in real time. So if I wanna collaborate with Andrew, for example, I can say Andrew at Descript, and then Andrew is now able to edit this as I'm doing it live. The other thing you can do is export. So if I click on the export button, um, what can I do with this video? Well, certainly I can export it out in any range of file formats, including normalizing the volume. So I can get that started, no need to wait around for that but I can also click export. And if I wanted to, I can do my, my uh, I can use Descript to organize my transcripts, kind of do all my rough edits and get it to a really good place and then bring it to a tool that you might already be comfortable with, especially if you have some templates, Funnel Cut or Premiere. So um, there's a couple of quick things you can do. Also, you notice I spent some time cleaning up the transcript. For accessibility reasons, um, it's gonna be very important for you to export out your subtitles. So with one click, I can export out SRTs or VTTs to export these and use them with YouTube, Wistia, Vimeo, Facebook, anybody that supports a native SRT or VTT file, you can easily upload those along with your content. So that way you have accessible, searchable content. While I have this, um, you might also want to burn in the subtitles. 
No need to do a separate platform. All I can do is select this content and then I'm gonna insert captions in Descript, we call them fancy captions. To do that, I'm just gonna say Command K that brings up your quick switcher. This does basically anything you might ever wanna do, such as put in captions. Just start typing captions, that'll pop up. And then my captions are gonna appear on the bottom. I'll have the black background color, um, have them take up about this much room. And then you can see them appearing on the screen as I'm talking. So you can have them stylized in any way that you want to have captions. Um, you don't need to have them the entire time. If you just want captions to appear for the very beginning or titles on screen when you're saying important stuff, that's fine. Everything here sits in layers. So here we'll just put the captions on screen and then it'll disappear. Uh, of course, if you wanna do things like titles, uh, let's say I wanna be, or <laughs> I wanna do a title at the very end, easy. Titles will appear on the screen. So I can have my content um, appear and create custom titles, custom graphics. Uh, one of my favorite features when you're working with the transcript, let's say I wanna do something totally obnoxious, like when I introduce myself, um, I want a photo of myself to appear on the screen. So here we go. I'll just drag in an image as uh, a drag in an image from off screen, drag it on top of the sentence. So I drag in an image and now you can see here on the waveform, we've actually created an image trimmed to just fit on there. So you'll see that playing. Obnoxious, but very cool, especially if you have a lot of stock images. So um, a way that many people are gonna come into this is maybe you have audio driven content uh, where you have these like long form interviews and you're trying to make them a little bit more interesting. So with Descript, you can take, let's say a long interview like we have here. So um, I produce a music industry podcast and teach a Stanford class in the music industry. We generate these like two hour long interviews. So I'm just scrolling through it. Um, with Descript, I just drag in the Zoom video um, or actual uh, multicam video when we have that available. Just drag that in, start adding in some markers, some live music with Justin Bieber. Um, again, with one click, I could remove all these filler words, all the ums and ahs, and I could start picking the best source material. So let's say, for example, um, this is a two hour long interview. How do I find the best audio and video that's in here? Well, I'm gonna do it based on the transcript. Um, this guy that's talking right now, and I've actually lost my place. Let me go back to the heading where I talked about Justin Bieber. So I'm gonna hit Command K. The quick switcher is going to find that heading. So I'm very quickly jumped to the section where we're talking about live music with Justin Bieber. If I wanna take this section of content, um, I can highlight the transcript, let's say in yellow here, and then there's actually another great section where Greg's talking here, and then a third one down here. So in these three, I'm just making highlights, and Andrew could have done these as well if I invited him to the project earlier. Um, you can go through, and often different people are gonna highlight things in different colors. Now that I have these highlighted, you can just click on the dot, dot, dot and say, copy highlights. I can copy all of these yellow or sand colored highlights and put them in a new composition, such as Greg highlights, paste them here. And now all the audio and the video is cut in. So again, all of this uh, just saves you so much time in cutting down your material, your long form interviews, not only you know, shortening them up by just clicking on the word bar at the bottom and dragging it around, uh, or you know, searching for all the ums and ahs and removing all those, but organizing huge amounts of source material. Uh, the other thing I commonly see people doing so is uh, uh, using something that we have called clip to composition. So clip to composition, let's say you're going through 
And yep, here's some great sections where we're talking about you know, producing content with Napster. You can click on this paperclip icon or hit command shift C. So you can hit command shift C, try that again, command shift C, awesome. And what that's basically gonna do, it pops up this dialogue where you can choose where you wanna put it. So maybe I wanna add this to Greg's highlights. I can just say Greg highlights and say clip. And now as I'm going through anything I'm selecting, again, audio, video, and text, command shift C is now added. One more time, select this, command shift C, that side highlighted too. So now when I click back on Greg highlights, I can see the audio, video, and text cut in from multiple different ways of working. Okay, final thing I wanna show you as far as organizing source material. Again, here we have this, oh, how long is this thing? Like a you know, two hour long video. You know how painful this would be to kind of organize and sort through. This was an interview I did about the music industry. So I actually wanna find all the places that we're actually talking about Spotify. So I can click on the project search button and I'm gonna change this to text. Now I'm gonna just go and say Spotify. So I can search on a composition level or a project level. Now when you search on um, project level, it's gonna search all of your interviews, all of your source material that you've dragged into different compositions. In this case, I have an entire semester worth of interviews. So if I say project, you can see all the times that Greg, Dauda, Ian, that we've talked about um, Spotify. For this demo, I'll just focus on my discussion with Ian, and all the times he talked about Spotify. So I could go through one at a time, click here, and you know when I'm clicking here, you know, you're able to easily hear what is going on in the composition at that place and time. But of course, the real power certainly, and you know, I could say, oh yeah, this is really interesting, copy this footage. But the really powerful stuff comes from, let me take all the quotes where Ian is saying Spotify, and I'm gonna say copy on the bottom. And I'm gonna copy the surrounding sentence. So I'm gonna copy the entire sentence that contains this material. Again, the audio, video, and the text. Click on apply all and all 21 sentences where Ian talked about Spotify, it appears. So I'm gonna create a new composition called Spotify Highlights. Paste that in and now you can see looking at the bottom, we have 21 video clips that have been created. And I, I mean, I barely look at the bottom of the screen because my goal is to stay focused on the transcript and the interesting stuff that's going on. So now we have these 21 playable snack sections where everybody can hear what is going on in context. And I can do this to put together my final project. So let's say I have, I'm gonna trim a few of these down. I'm gonna choose a few interesting ones. I'll take that, take that one, and that's great. Cool. So now I have kind of a teaser that I wanna to put together. And um, I, let's see, also received a message that you can only hear my microphone. So let me switch it over to see that you can hear my mic and my screen. Thanks for sending me that message. Okay. Um, Hopefully you'll be able to hear this. And if somebody on the back end can let me know if you can hear this audio too. So some of the stuff on the other side that we see that. Awesome, sweet. Thank you, VidCon folks. Um, sorry if you couldn't hear my screen before. Problem solved. Uh, user error on my part. So now I have um, my highlights that I have. This is pulled from hours and hours and hours of source material. Well. I create this podcast uh, for Stanford University and we create a lot of video assets for it. So my goal here will be to actually create some short videos from this. So one way of doing it would be, I'm gonna select this quote. So this is a quote of Ian. You can see Ian talking here. Um, and I'm gonna just export this out. 
just this selection. So a couple things you can do, of course, I could certainly export out this video, just the current selection, go for it. Sure, I could do that. That might not be very interesting. What you could also do is create an audiogram. So I just type in audio and we'd start to complete it in the quick switcher. When I say create audiogram, um, I want a selection. I want it uh, published. It's gonna be called Spotify Highlights for Drop the Mic, which is the name of our, our video and audio project. I did a, <laughs> a previous thing which had my face on it for LinkedIn. I'm gonna get rid of that obnoxious photo. And instead I'm gonna choose our animation, um, or sorry, a uh, the cover art that I have. Cool, so I've got the cover art. This is the Drop the Mic podcast. Um, I'll see if I wanna tint the background a little bit, make that a little bit better. I'll try out dark mode, not as happy with that. Um, and so really then the last thing that I could do would be to try a different background. But let's just go with this for the sake of, sake of argument. Um, I can also audition, by the way, different, there we go, I'm starting to like this better, different themes. So we give you a couple of different built-in audiogram themes. I think the one I have on the screen now is kind of the best one. And we have this quote, don't worry about it, you can't hear a thing because I haven't played it yet. Um, I'm going to export this out. You could have a custom badge and branding, publish, and great. And so now everybody will have a final audiogram with that little snippet created for you that you can share uh, and post. And if you're thinking your audiograms are cute, but I actually want to do something a little more sophisticated, that's where you can see we have you know video here. I can drag in my image. So if I want this to start with a brief introduction before we go into the quotes, um, I will basically insert my image here. This is our cover art. I'm gonna record a quick voiceover. So with Descript, I can just click here, select my microphone input. Okay, great, that's my Blue Yeti X. And we will automatically transcribe what you were saying in real time. Hey everybody, this week on the Drop the Mic podcast, we talk about Spotify. Cool. You can see that I'm gonna just drag here to remove some of the some of the silence that I had in here. I'm gonna remove this little notification that my video has been exported, and now I have myself. I'll label, choose the right speaker label. Hey everybody, this week on the Drop the Mic podcast, we talk about Spotify. So that could be on Spotify, SoundCloud, you. All right, so I've now got my voice intro. Hey everybody, this week on the Drop the Mic podcast. We talk about Spotify. So that could be on. I'm just going to make that image disappear a little faster. So just trim that. Again, everything is in layers on here. I could break out the video to be on its own track. I'm kind of keeping it embedded there right now. It's just simpler for me to see. Uh, maybe have this fade out a little bit. Spotify. So that could be on Spotify. Cool. Uh, maybe I'll have the maybe have it fade in a little bit. Spotify. So that could be on Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube. So it'd be like SoundCloud, YouTube, on uh, like the digital service providers like Spotify. Awesome. Um, I actually want to cut in a little bit of Brandon. Um, I think we had some good stuff where Brandon was talking about listening to Big Sean. That's going to be useful for us. I'm going to just go in here, grab that material, cut that in. Whatever. I've been listening to a lot. There's a little extra track there. Now, one thing that's interesting about this, um, this file with Ian is just the recording of Ian. You see there's this like hamburger-like thing. Uh, this is actually a sequence, and this is myself and Brandon on different audio tracks. So we appear here in different tracks. Um, so you can adjust who is talking at what time, or if I'm coughing while Brandon's saying something, not a problem, you can eliminate that too. So your video edits are made? Whatever. I've been listening to a lot of Big Sean. I've been listening to a lot. Let me get to the end. To that a lot. A little extra silence, remove that. Listen to that a lot. So some of the stuff on the other side. Cool, so now we're, you get the gist. You know, we're cutting this together. I'm recording real-time voiceover, um, dragging in images anywhere you want stuff. 
Um, maybe, you know, a few more things uh, like in here while he's talking, want to actually put a live concert photo on top of that section. It's cool. So that'll appear only while that is going on. Uh, same thing. I want to have a little, maybe I want to have captions going on. Like the that section. Is like basically if Spotify is putting a song. So I have that. I'll just do captions on this. So that way, there we go. Let's do those captions, make this kind of dramatic. For this live concert one, I'm gonna click on the inspector. Maybe you kind of blur this out a little bit. Awesome, scale it up a little bit. Awesome, and I could also just click on the image as well. Uh, so if I just double click on this image and I can, of course, make this bigger for mouse fatigue. Click on this, drag the image. There we go. So it's like we're on stage. Zoom it in a little bit more. And now I'm creating much more engaging content. Basically, if Spotify is putting a song in all of these different playlists, but the, the, but the artist like can't sell 50 tickets anywhere or um, has no growth on any other platform, like followers on Spotify. I should probably neaten up the transcripts. It's an exercise for the reader. And imagine how quickly that is. You just go in, go here, command E to go into correct text mode as opposed to edit media mode. And then there you go. All right. So what have I showed you so far? Um, I've showed you how to go in, create, uh, organize huge amounts of source material and kind of edit your video just by editing the transcripts pretty quickly. Um, I showed you how to remove filler words and word gaps, um, two tools that I use quite a lot for cutting down huge amounts of video, especially video with dead air or um, uh, or lots of takes and ums and ahs, trim that down, um, how to comp together video, again, just with the transcript, and then start layering in titles, images, um, some of the things that are your bread and butter. Um, if you created them somewhere else, you know, if you have an intro sequence that you did in After Effects, export it out as an MP4, drag it into Descript, have it as a separate layer that plays. And um, that's a great template that you can have. One more thing I'm gonna show you and um, let's let's get to audience questions. Um, I wanna show you how to add, an, add a, uh, an overdub voice. So let's say I actually wanna insert something here. Um, all you have to do is start typing like, uh, much you did I earn for they meant to ask about Spotify's annual revenue last year so if this is something you actually want to cut in um, I use this you know to say like uh, by the way we meant to talk about this last week you can click on this say create from voice and I'm just gonna add an overdub voice so Descript actually includes these overdub voices. Um, so not only can you create your own voice, a speech to text voice of yourself with as little as 10 minutes of content, um, but you can actually use our free voices as well, such as life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Just focus. So those are real, real voice actors that created their voice doubles with us. We provide those free for anybody to use. And then all you have to do is actually select them in the app and we will generate voice to text in real time. So you can see in the bottom right, it says generating overdub. And now like that. Jay meant to ask about Spotify's annual revenue last year. Um, but those are big elsewhere. So that's something you can do also with your own overdub voice. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers we're working with are creating their own overdub voices so they can go back in and literally just type in a correction to what you wanna say. 